Ken, who is the lead character, is an archetypal figure. He represents a generation of St. Lucians who are trying to make sense of the world. Um, sometimes they don't have quite all the information they need to do that. So um, these three wise women, who are the griots, decide that he has potential, this young man has potential, as indeed the nation does and the generations to come have lots of potential, but he needs something more, he needs an understanding of where we have come from and the trials and tribulations that we have overcome, and so they send him on this mystical journey through the history of his country. This place has in fact achieved quite a lot. The solution people, the nation has achieved a lot and therefore he has every reason to be strong and proud and to go forward into the future knowing the, the glorious past that we have overcome. Both adversity, triumph, celebration and the fact that we've made a new life, a new world out of the degradation, out of the dregs that were offered to us. We've taken it and we've made something new and fresh and wonderful. Um, who's involved? Um, Drina Frederick, the director, um, Gregory Piper, uh, musical director, choreographers, uh, Barry George, uh, Trevor King, Teresa Collimore, Althea from Avad. School of Ballet, we've got Helen Folk dancers. We have a set of drummers led by um, Jason Alcid. Um, it's a wide uh, amalgamation of skills. We're dealing with both dance companies like Silver Shadow as well as a core of uh, performers who we have auditioned and uh, some hand-picked persons. Diana Phillip, as for example, as a griot, has um, done this sort of thing before. And uh, she's proving to be both an actress and a, and a singing voice. Um, Anisha Antoine is also one of our griots. She's doing extremely well. I want to say thanks to both of them. Yeah, it's driven mostly by um, music and movement. For a presentation like this, you really need to be quite heavy on the visuals. You can't have great long speeches where people have to follow intricate plots. So again, it's an archetypal journey. It is, a, it is highly symbolic and it really is telling the story in images rather than in words. escape um, the political evolution of any country if you're telling that story and so we have chosen to focus in particular on the 1979 post-independence um, tribulations that I think were a necessary um, transition in our political development. All the music is original, yes. We have one or two snippets um, um, which are sort of universal clips, but by and large it is all St. Lucian music. Gregory Piper has the main um, responsibility for all the music. Um, and he has chosen various pieces. We have some um, Barbara Cade, which is in the background now. Well, traditional music, but reinterpreted by Barbara Cade. Um, we have Calypso, we have uh, Shane Ross um, interpretation. It's, it's quite a bit, but um, mostly it's music that has been either created, composed, or arranged specifically for the production.